The young man was searching for God, trying to find God. He called his pastor. He was reading the Bible one day, and all his life, he only been four foot eight inches. Bible, and where it said, "If there's any sick among you, let them call for the elders of the church. Let them anoint with oil." I want to know. He began to read that, and so he called his pastor. And said, Pastor, I am so excited, Pastor. I found in the Bible where we know it with all and prayer and faith, and he healed the sick. He said, Pastor, that you have had a revival. Because he kept reading this Bible. He said, God, I know you're real, God. I know you are real. I know your word is real. And so he found, he began to pray for himself. As weeks went by, all of a sudden, his pants were like. So when it all was said and done, this man that, that was 20-something years when it was all said and done at the prayer, he grow to six foot four. I'm telling you, listen, hallelujah. If he can do that, he can do anything. I'm going to tell you what today. You might feel like you're short in the spirit, but I'm going to tell you today, you can get tall in the spirit. I'm going to tell you today, hallelujah, if you can believe it, God can do it. I said, if you can believe it, hallelujah. The Bible said, asking without wavering, without wavering, saying, God, God, he wanted to grow taller, and he did. got scripture today my lord you come up here right now we'll anoint with oil i don't care what your problem is i don't care what you're going through it's the power in the oil no it's not in the oil the power's in the obedience the power's in the obedience of the word of god hallelujah hallelujah my god is there any sick among you is there anybody that needs prayer Hallelujah. We're doing like the scripture says. We're anointed with oil. We're anointed with oil right now. We're calling on the name above every name. Come against this right now. We stand against you, sickness, in the name of Jesus. We stand against it in the name of my Lord right now. Right now. I speak healing to her body. I speak Lord, send your word. Send your word, my God. Right now, right now, right now, my God, if you can let that man grow taller, my God, you can let this body grow stronger. You let this body be healed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name, in the name, in the name, in the name. Hallelujah. My God. Lord, you see what this young man's wrestling. You see what this young man's fighting, my God. My Lord, as a young child, he was dedicated to you, Lord. As a young child, my Lord, his parents gave him back to you, my God. I'm asking God to do a work in this young man's life. I'm asking God to take out all the confusion in his mind. Take out all the confusion in his mind. My God, open his eyes so he can see. Open his ears so he can hear. My God, I plead your blood over him. I hope you can buy every spirit, every power of the enemy. God, let that hunger for you, let that passion for you, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, glory, 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 anybody else, praise the Lord, 
Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. Lord, come on, I'm going to tell you. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. He's our own time God. Right now, God. He's a right now God. Come on. Glory. God, these joints, these muscles, these tissues, these ligaments, my God, the veins, Lord, my God. Lord, if that man can grow, Lord, you can touch his body. You can touch these limbs. You can take away the pain. You can touch your Lord. Hallelujah. Every joint, 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 every joint has got to line up with the Word of God. Hallelujah. My God, my God, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Brother Fields, come stand in for your wife and daughter. Hallelujah. My God, we come against that sickness. We come against that sickness in the name of Jesus. Lord, as he stands in the gap, Lord, right now I speak to that sickness I command it to leave that body I command it in the name of Jesus Lord I speak your word I speak strength I speak healing Lord right now right now right now right now come on come on I believe what the word said I believe what the word said I believe what the word said Come on. If you've got other problems right now, won't you come on and pray with you? Hallelujah. God's going to help you. <laughs> right now, Lord, right now in the name, in that name that's above every name, my Lord from the head to the toe. My Lord, I'm asking open door for my God. I'm asking God to open that door for my God. I'm asking him to come on in and touch my God. I want to touch my God. Uh, 
My God, I speak right now. My Lord, let it continually be healed. I speak healing. I speak healing in the name of Jesus. In the name of my God right now, I rebuke every negative thing. I rebuke every negative report. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Lord, I loosen, I loosen your hand. I loosen the power of God upon you. Hallelujah. Touch him, Lord. Touch him, Lord. Touch him, Lord. Glory, glory. By the stripes we are healed. In the name of Jesus. Glory, glory. Come on, come on. Hallelujah, my God. Oh, come on. Any other? You got financial trouble. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. I don't care what you're facing. I'm going to tell you, God is greater than anything that you're facing today. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands. Come on, lift your hands. Reach out to God. Come on. This is the answer. This is your answer. Hallelujah. Come on. He got in the book and he found the answer. Come on, God's word is forever settled in heaven. You can trust his word today.
Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. All you got to do, we used to sing that song, faith, faith, just a little bit of faith. You don't need a whole lot, but just use what you got. A little faith take you a long ways. Ronnie was telling me a story. He had one more yard to mow, and he looked into his lawnmower, and it was mown empty. Went to get his gas can, and it was empty. And he just said a little prayer, God, I really need to mow this yard. I, I ain't got time to go get gas, Lord. Could you help me? He pulled on before he went, but came back after prayer, and he pulled on, and it cranked up. And he mowed that whole yard on a bone, empty tank on a lawnmower. Made two more swipes. I put, pick a few leaves up. And when he was through, it died. I'm going to tell you what, that's the kind of God I serve. That's the kind of God I serve. My God, he'll take what is empty. He'll stretch it, praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm going to tell you, God wants your faith to be strong today. God wants your faith to be strong today. Hallelujah. Because when your faith is strong, you can face the giants. When your faith is strong, you can overcome. Praise God. When your faith is strong. You may be seated today. Hallelujah. It was a perhaps maybe a year ago that I saw a glimpse thing on YouTube. It was a church overseas having church. A tornado came up and they were showing it. Now most people have said, let's go run and hide and find a safe place. But these people in a third world country began to pray you could hear them speaking in tongues and they're praying the tornado kept coming their way and they kept praying and the tornado kept coming their way and they, they prayed harder and they prayed and they pushed in their prayer and right before the tornado got to where they were when it met that force of prayer you could see on the video the tornado going back up 
it's in the cloud because you know why it met a force that was stronger than it was I'm going to tell you what today when that enemy comes your way it needs to meet a force that is stronger than what it is hallelujah the Bible said be strong in the faith be strong in the power of God be strong I'm going to tell you it could be a tornado. It could be an empty tank on a lawnmower. One time when we laid hands on an ice box that wasn't working. And that old ice box met something. And it started running all over again. Listen, anybody could freak out. But won't you have faith out? Praise God. Let your faith bring you through it. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want us to pray for Sister Lambert right now. She up since about 3 30, 4 o'clock, really sick, really weak. Praise God. And I prayed for her, but I told her the church is going to pray for her. Just right where you're at, praise God. I just want you to close your eyes and bind together with me right now and pray for Reagan. I think Reagan's sick also. My Lord, in your mighty name. We come before you, Lord. We come before your throne, God. Touch the sister Fields and Brianna and touch, uh, sh uh, touch Reagan and touch uh, uh, Nana, Lord, Sister Lambert, Lord. Touch all that are sick, God. My Lord, let your healing power, God. Let your, the healing of your word, my God. Lord, we rebuke this sickness, Lord. Bind this sickness, Lord. Take dominion over this sickness, Lord. My Lord, in that mighty name we call upon on Lord and Lord we give you praise and we give you glory hallelujah hallelujah I still believe it God I still believe it I still believe in it I still believe in your word I still believe in your promises Lord whoa I said I still believe them hallelujah hallelujah glory to God you may be seated peace the Lord Hallelujah, God is so good. Glory, glory, glory. You know, I used to always say that the worst day in the church is still better than the best day of the world. Praise God, hallelujah. Glory to God, praise God. It's so good to be here today. We have a lot of things coming up, praise God. But right now, I want Brother Lawrence to come on up and get ready. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate Brother Sister Lawrence, hallelujah. God, it's going to be great. Glory to God. It's just going to be great. I am so excited. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the landlords coming down Monday next week. And don't know what's going to happen, but God does. I asked him about this building over here, and I said, uh, is it, I wouldn't mind renting it uh, just to have it. And uh, I said, you have any idea what it's going to rent for? He said, $4,000. I said, that empty building, $4,000? So pray God's hand upon our buildings, and I don't know what they're going to do, but praise God, God does, hallelujah, glory to God, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise God, the Lawrences are leaving tomorrow, hallelujah, headed back to Mississippi, has some things they need to do, praise God, I try to get him to stay for impact, but uh, he's got a baby dedication for his babies, praise God, and uh, that is exciting to give your children back to the Lord. Praise God, realizing God gave them to you. Praise the Lord. Come on up today, brother. Appreciate you. Here's your microphone. God bless you. Come on, let's give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We praise you, God. We praise you, God. We praise you, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, it's good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Pastor.
pastor mentioned me preaching three times. I should be pretty spiritual before this is all over with. Amen. But I appreciate I appreciate everything that God is doing and uh, just looking forward to what God's God's got everything in the palm of his hands. You know, and it's easy for us to worry. It's a whole lot harder for us to trust what we don't see. But I'm going to tell you something. God will see you through anything. And God has been so good to me and my family. I, I appreciate the Lord so much. I appreciate your pastor. You wanted to him, Sister Lambert. Very, very precious to our hearts. And uh, anyway, we love Sister Lambert and we really do love Sister Lambert. <laughs> he said something the other day. I said, I'm not here to see you. I'm here to see Sister Lambert. Help her to keep you straight. But uh, all kidding aside, we love Brother Lambert. My kids get so excited when they find out we're coming here. Sissy squeals and claps and jumps up and down. And So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, man. There's very few places we go where she acts like that. But I appreciate and appreciate this church. I really do. I mean that with my whole heart. I appreciate everything. Appreciate my wife and my babies. And uh, I'm I'm excited about dedicating them to the Lord. Amen. Well, I'm gonna try to be as quick as possible. Genesis chapter number thirty two, very familiar. God gave this to me last night, and um, I really thought I was going to be preaching it this morning where I was headed, and the, the more I got to meditating, it just felt like it was for this service, and then pastor said some things, and I said, well, okay, God, so I take it as a confirmation, but I want the Holy Ghost to help me. Verse number 24 through 26. And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. When he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. But I like Jacob's reply. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. I want to preach today. I don't know if it's challenging us or encouraging us or maybe I'm preaching to myself. But I just want the Holy Ghost to help us today. And entitled this, Surrendering is Not an option. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and tell him, don't give up. God's about to do it. Amen. Surrendering should never be an option. Hallelujah. Can we lay our Bibles aside? Let's lift our hands and our voices. Let's ask God to help us. Lord Jesus, we love you. We're so thankful for what your help one more time this afternoon, Lord. You know, God, I'm nothing on my own. I can do nothing on my own, Lord. You have the answers. I don't, God. But, Lord, would you, Lord, hide You can be seated in Jesus' name. <clears throat> We're living in a time of spiritual warfare. I wish I wish everything was a bed of roses. I wish everything was easy. And 
Society will tell you the best things in life are for free. But I have come to a place in my life where I disagree with that. I like, don't get me wrong, I, I, like, I like free popsicles and free ice cream and all the free things that life could offer. But I, as the older I get, the more I realize the best things in life Our families, our church, revival, everything that the church of the living God represents is worth fighting for. I wish I could tell you that, that tomorrow we'd wake up and everything would be all victorious and I'm believing God that everything's, I believe we're on a good path. I really do. But don't you think for a moment that the enemy's going to give ground up easy. Don't you think for a moment that your loved ones are just going to ease on back in the church and the enemy's going to say, okay, I've had them long enough. They belong back to you now. The enemy's job is to do everything he can to hold revival and to hold your promise captive. Because he knows, he knows that if he can get you discouraged and distracted, that, that, that your fight will eventually leave. Bear with me, I'm going somewhere. But oh, I'm telling you on this Sunday, November the 6th, I believe I'm preaching not just a saint of God, not just a good, good people that love God, but I believe I'm preaching to people this afternoon that are warriors. We are soldiers in the army of the Lord. And I believe with my whole heart now, I don't know, Pastor mentioned landlord, I don't know what's going to happen a week from now. But you let, me, let me just say this. Regardless of what happens, don't lose your focus. It's okay, your Pastor, I know it's because I'm telling you something. This church is headed in a direction. Hallelujah, this church has made a turnaround. And the enemy is going to do everything he can. It's not a coincidence today that the crowd's low because sickness and this happening and that happening. You know why? He wants to reduce your morale. He wants to, he wants to, you, you to be sitting down in a pit of discouragement and say, you know what? We almost had it. But can I tell you? We're going to go further because surrendering is not an option. I didn't come this far to give up on revival. I didn't come this far to give up on my family. I didn't come this far to give up on my promise. Can I tell you the enemy don't want you to fight. He wants you to surrender. But I'm preaching to people today that says, you know what? I'm not going to surrender. We made a turnaround, and I'm not going back. I'm going forward. God's got a revival for this church. God's got a revival for my family. God's got a revival for our youth group. And I'm not going to sit down and let the enemy take what the what the gods give me. But I'm going to fight for it. I'm going to fight with everything I've got because one thing I understand that if I fight eventually victory will come if I fight eventually revival will come if I fight eventually there will be a breakthrough so I'm not quitting I'm not throwing in the towel I'm not going to be stuck on the canvas of my life but I'm getting up and 
I'm going to fight this thing out. I'm going to fight in prayer. I'm going to fight in worship. I'm going to fight in fasting. I'll do whatever I got to do because it's time for Southern Rock Pentecostal Church to have revival. It's time for Southern Rock Pentecostal Church to go forward. It's time for us to see victory. It's time for us to see harvest. Oh, I want to know, are there any warriors? I want to know, is there anybody that's got a made up mind? Hey, I've been through some dark places, but we've been manure for the night. But hold on, morning's on the way. Hold on, the sunrise is coming. I'm not staying here. I'm not dying in my dilemma. I'm getting up, and I'm going to see victory in my situation. Come on, let's love the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm just going to be transparent with you, precious saints of God. Sometimes we like to put on a tough guy image. But you're listening to somebody today that hadn't been very tough at times past. What do you mean, Brother Lawrence? I'm just going to be transparent. I just got over one of the worst mind battles I've ever I let the enemy almost convince me I wasn't even called to evangelize. (laughs) And my wife, thank God for somebody that has stood by my side. Uh, My wife's not called to preach, but I'm going to tell you something. She's a good preacher when it gets to certain situations like that. Two got the Holy Ghost. I went to another place in Tennessee, revival. A young lady that had been having some struggles and different things going on. I didn't know what was going on, just mental stuff. I'm telling you, she looked the part. She knew how she knew the song. She knew how to clap. But what happened was there were some things going on in her mind that the enemy was trying to keep her literally from getting the Holy Ghost. A very shy, to my knowledge, an introverted young lady. But that night, on a Sunday night, I watched that young lady, my wife and I, shout and break free from whatever had her bound. She she spoke in tongues for about 20, 25 minutes. Hallelujah. 
since I've been out this time, we've had eight people to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Hey, devil, I'm still here. Hey, devil, I'm still here. Surrendering's not an option. I'm going to see revival. We're going to see a breakthrough. Can I tell somebody, if you can win it here, you can win it anywhere. I'm telling you, it's time for somebody to make up their mind. I'm not letting you have what God's given me. I'm not going to let you have my anointing. I'm not going to let you have my family. I'm not going to let you have my ministry, but somehow I've got to fight. If it's going to happen, I've got to fight for it. If it's going to take place, I'm going to fight my way through and press my way through and pray my way through. Let me go at daybreak of it. Surrendering is not an option. I'm holding destiny in my hands. I'm holding the future of a nation in my hands. I'm holding promise in my hands. I'm not about to let go. My family's depending on me. I'm not letting go. My church is depending on me. Oh, I'm not letting go. My youth group is depending on me. I'm telling you, I know, can I just say it this way? You got impact here in a couple weeks. Why not have impact every service? Who's going to be delivered? Who's going to be? Who, which backslider's coming back home? I'm telling somebody today. I'm preaching to some people that know how to fight. You wouldn't have got this far without a fight. And you're not going to go any further without a fight. But there's victory on the other side. There's a miracle on the other side. There's a promise on the other side. Don't My mind's made up. I'm going through this. I'm going to be victorious. I'm going to see revival. I'm going to see a miracle in my situation. No, it's not against me, oh, my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. I'm not staying here. Uh, there, 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 there's a bright future ahead of me. There's a miracle ahead of me. There's a testimony ahead of me. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to live in the promise of God. I'm going to live in the Papa Shatoru Baha'i. I'm going to live in the purpose of God. I'm going to live in revival. I'm going to live in victory. I'm going to see it.
Surrendering is not an option. Your people of the name of Jesus and the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and is safe. There's victory for you. There's revival for you. There's harvest for you. You know why you fight. You fought a good fight. It's time to reap the benefits. It's time to see the promise. It's time to see the miracle. Musicians come. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost. Come on, let's love the Lord. I feel something hovering in this building right now. I feel heaven's embrace in this place right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm about to do something that I, to my knowledge, I've never done in my whole life. It's one thing to minister to everybody else. Baby, better things are coming for us. Better things are coming for us. Hallelujah. We're about to come out of this trial. We're about to come out of this. I'm telling you, I can smell the smell of victory. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, God's not left us. God's not left us. God's not left us. God's not left us. I'm telling you, I'm not looking down anymore. I'm looking up. I'm holding my head up high because I know where my help comes from. I know where my strength comes from. My help comes from the Lord. My strength comes from the Lord. Surrendering's not an option. Surrendering's not an option. There's revival. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. There's revival. Hold your head up. Great things are coming. Sister Sabrina, hold your head up. Great things are coming. I'm telling you, there's some backbone in this church. There's some people that.
in the name of Jesus. Preaching to warriors. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, grab a hold of what God's got today as they sing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's our time for revival. It's our time for a miracle. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, push just a little bit more. Come on, push just a little bit more. We're gonna stay focused. We're gonna be the church. We're gonna be the church. Now we're crying. 